Since the death of Zakai on Wednesday, there has been a sumba mood among chimpanzees at the zoo in Entebbe. The grief is most felt and seen when one visits Zakai's former territory. At UWEC, he continued to be the most amazing individual that every visitor, regardless of age, wanted to see, listen to his touching story on how humans can be cruel to other creatures. Zakayo lived with his two partners, Amin and Ruth, and one child, Chuck, who, according to Uganda Wildlife Education Center Executive Director, James Musunguzi, have not eaten anything since Zakayo's death. Zakayo sired two offsprings with Amina. Amina is with us here. Yankee, the two offsprings were Yankee. Unfortunately, this one passed on. And Shaka. Shaka is right up there. Aged 15 years old. Zakayo was 54 years old at the time of his death and he had been suffering from different infections for a long time. Zakayo was going to make 55 years in June this year. So he has not been able to make it. He has died two months before. And we are very sad about this because we were preparing for his birthday. Unfortunately, it has not come to pass. Mosinguza has described Zakayo as a chimpanzee that had the caring heart and a behavior of a human being. Zakayo was a peacemaker. Whenever there was a disagreement within the group, Zakayo would try and persuade all the chimpanzees to live in harmony. And that is a virtue that we are going to miss. According to Uganda Wildlife Education Center, Zakayo shall be preserved for future research. Because this is a very great tool for research, conservation, education, as well as environmental interpretation. Zakayo's intern organs will be buried tomorrow at the Uganda Wildlife Education Center in Entebbe. Ivan Chumuchigozi, NTV.